Hi, I'm Bad Syntax, and this video is for people who want to have the replay buffer start automatically when you launch OBS. This video is also for people having trouble getting OBS to launch with Windows, and I have a couple solutions for that as well. I'll also have a link to a written guide in the description for those of you who would rather read something than follow along with a video. I should also mention this does not work with Streamlabs OBS, only OBS Studio. So first I'll go over how to start the replay buffer automatically when OBS launches. To do this, you need to add this launch parameter to the OBS shortcut. Right click on the OBS shortcut, go to properties, then click the shortcut tab. Then add the start replay buffer parameter to the target area. Now when you launch OBS, it will start with the replay buffer running. Now to get OBS to boot with Windows. For some reason, Windows doesn't always let OBS launch when you have it set to always run as administrator, as many of us do to avoid problems with recording. So first go to where the application is installed and make sure it has full permissions so that nothing will prevent it from booting. To do this, you navigate to where OBS is installed. In my case, it's in the default location. Now right click on the executable and go to the security tab. Click edit, then click on your profile and just make sure to allow all. You can just apply this to the shortcut itself. However, if you're like me and you have multiple shortcuts, you may want to apply this to the executable itself so that OBS will always run unimpeded. Now we can just add the shortcut to the startup folder. The easiest way to do this is to open the run window by holding the Windows key plus the R key at the same time. Then type shell colon startup, hit enter, and the startup folder will open. Then just drag or copy the shortcut into the startup folder. Now OBS should start the next time you boot up or restart Windows, and it should also start with the replay buffer running. Now, if that doesn't work, and OBS still doesn't start with Windows, then there is still one more thing you can try. I've written a batch file that starts OBS with the replay buffer running, and you can add that file to the startup folder, same as you would with the shortcut. I'll add links to download the batch file in the description. If you have installed OBS somewhere other than the standard location, then you may need to change the path in the batch file accordingly. Okay, that's it. Hit the buttons, make the comments. Thanks for watching.